In this episode, we'll take a look at Acoustica, which you could consider an alternative to Isotope RX for cleaning dialog. And in this first part, because it's a very deep app, we're going to take a look at two of the tools, number one for noise reduction, and the second one is called phase rotation, which I often use for loudness normalization. Let's take a look. Over the last several years, we've covered Isotope RX for cleaning up dialogue audio on a number of occasions. And one of the questions I get quite often is, well, the advanced version of RX is quite expensive. It's over $1,000 US for a license, and that is quite expensive. Has some amazing tools, of course, but out of reach of many of us. So the question is, is were there any alternatives that are less expensive? And so today I wanna to take a look at one of them, and we're just really going to scratch the surface. We're going to look here at Acon Digital's Acoustica. Acoustica's premium license is $199 US. That's what we're looking at here. And I just want to focus on two tools today. This is barely scratching the surface. There's so much more to cover here. But I want to look at two things. Number one, what is called in Acon Digital's Acoustica Extract Dialog, very similar to the Dialog Isolate over in Isotope RX, which only comes incidentally in the advanced version, which is the most expensive version. And then also, secondly, one of the tools that is not available in a lot of other tools is something that is called adaptive phase rotation. And that is also here in Acoustica in both the standard and the premium versions. So let me just look at, first of all, phase rotation, and then we'll take a look at the dialog extract. So this is a recording, and it is just me talking here. Let me go ahead and play a little portion for you in whatever form that may take. So here's a sample just to see where we end up. Okay, this is before we've done any sort of processing whatsoever. The main thing I'm noticing here is the asymmetry of this waveform here. For example, this peak is much closer to zero dB than the corresponding peak on the opposite side of the waveform. So what that does for us is what, why that's a problem potentially for us is that it makes it so that we'll have to compress harder on this side to make enough headroom to loudness normalize this audio. Now, some people will say, well, you have DC offset. No, this is not the same as DC offset. In fact, I can prove it to you by showing you the statistics. And if we look at the DC offset average, it is basically zero. So waveform asymmetry is not the same as DC offset. Um, it is just something that happens with certain voices. My voice is, happens to be one that it happens with. <laughs> um, and it often is more frequent in men's voices, I have found. It's not all men's voices, but some men's voices. And also, interestingly, on some wind instruments, you'll also find some of this. In any case, phase rotation can fix that for us. Let me just show you what it does here. Let's go ahead and pull up our statistics. So what I can show you first is our maximum sample peak level here is at minus 1.21. That means this peak right here is at minus 1.21 dB. The maximum true peak is at minus 1.2, pretty much identical. So if we do the phase rotation, that should give us a little bit more headroom. This should be somewhere maybe closer to minus three. Let's see what we get. So if I come up here into tools, I'm going to rotate phase and I'm going to make sure that this is clicked on adaptive so it will turn orange when that's on. I'm going to click process. Okay, now if we come up here and refresh our statistics, you'll now see that the maximum true peak level is minus 3.2. What that means again in practical terms is that when I come to do the compression here to give myself a little bit more headroom and boost the overall levels of the audio clip, I won't have to compress this nearly as hard. Nice tool. It is available in Isotope RX, but I haven't seen it in a lot of other places. So it's really nice that that is included here in Acoustica. Second thing I wanna look at here is what is called Extract Dialog. Now, this is very similar to the plugin in Isotope RX, which is referred to as Dialog Isolate. This Dialog Isolate is only available in the advanced version and it's quite advanced. It uses some machine learning as my understanding to figure out how to remove noise. We're gonna use it to remove just some low level 
like a fan in the background. It's a fairly subtle example, so to really hear this, you'll probably need some headphones. So if you can put on your best set of headphones to hear the difference that we're making here, that would be fantastic. So let's go ahead and do this first of all in Isotope. And just to give you a sample of what it sounds like, here is the recording before we've done any sort of cleanup, any sort of dialogue isolate. Recently, I had to uh, <laughs> troubleshoot some computer issues, and I am not really used to doing that. I'm an obviously everyday computer user, but I don't know much about fixing issues or... Okay, so that's where we're starting. You can hear, especially in this portion, that we have a fan in the background. Okay, so what we'd like to do is remove some of that fan without cutting too much into the dialogue. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and put the dialogue gain, just leave that at zero. I don't want to affect the dialogue. I'm going to reduce the noise by 6 dB. I'm going to set the sensitivity to 6.5 out of 10, and we don't want to retain any of the ambiance. It's that fan not really important to us. So we'll go ahead and render that. And this is what it sounds like now. Recently, I had to uh, <laughs> troubleshoot some computer issues, and I am not really used to doing that. I'm an obviously everyday computer user, but I don't know much about fixing issues. Or okay. It did okay. I would say not amazing, but not bad. There was this weird part at the start that, where the fan sort of fades out, which was a little bit odd. But I generally like to do this in passes, multiple passes, as opposed to one massive passive, like cutting out all the noise possible. And so let's do another pass with, again, the noise gain set to minus six and see what we get. Okay, we'll play that back. Recently, I had to uh, <laughs> troubleshoot some computer issues, and I am not really used to doing that. I'm an obviously everyday computer user, but I don't know much about fixing issues or... Okay. Interestingly, it does take care of this, uh, some of the fan, sort of. It kind of comes in and out. I don't know if you've noticed that. It's pretty subtle again. It, it did a pretty good job in terms of retaining the dialogue. I was impressed with that. Let's go over to Acoustica and see how it does at about the same level. So if I pop over here, again, starting with the exact same sound sample, what I'm going to do is come up to Enhancement, Extract Dialog. We'll set the sensitivity, let's see, it goes to 100, minus 100 to 100. Let's go to about 65. We'll also say that the maximum attenuation of the noise is minus six. Let's go ahead and process that and see what we get. Okay, now I'll play that back. Recently, I had to uh, <laughs> troubleshoot some computer issues, and I am not really used to doing that. I'm an obviously everyday computer user, but I don't know much about fixing issues or... That actually sounded like it might have done a better job. Let's try another pass at that. Again, keeping the same settings, fairly modest, only a minus six dB attenuation in the noise. Go ahead and process again. And we'll play that back. Recently, I had to uh, <laughs> troubleshoot some computer issues, and I am not really used to doing that. I'm an obviously everyday computer user, but I don't know much about fixing issues or, you know, finding out why software is doing something, but... Okay. Again, it's still doing a little bit of funny business in terms of the fan kind of coming in and out. I don't know if you noticed that. It's, again, fairly subtle, and this is a fairly subtle sample to start with anyway <laughs> but i wanted to show you something that is pretty common in production sound oftentimes we'll have some fans running in the background if you're on a set for example oftentimes the lighting will have fans in it uh, or other things like that if maybe if you're doing a recording in your you know on your computer your computer may have a fan whatever this would be a pretty common use case for that to really just sort of reduce that a little bit what I found here so far, again, this is just my first impressions, just barely started working with Acoustica, 
is that in terms of isolating dialogue from noise, it does a really, really nice job, surprisingly good job. And we're talking about a $200 application in this case versus a $1,200 or over a $1,000 application in the case of RX. So if you're interested in diving into Acoustica more, let us know down in the comments. I hope that was helpful for you. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those down below. If you've not already subscribed, make sure you do that. And we'll be sure to get you more great videos on how to improve your lighting and sound for video. Talk to you soon. Music